everyone. I hope you're all well. So let me get my mic ready so you can hear me better. Right then. This is the colour scheme that we're going to be playing with today. So I made these not long back. So some pretty flowers there. So this is the colour scheme. So this is just I'll strengthen this because what we're going to make. I don't know whether it's going to take me a while yet. And I've pre-done the card in the matching colour. So for now, we'll we'll just play with this part at the minute. Okay. So we're going to be doing. Hopefully, I've not made one before. I have one made one before, and it went a little bit wrong, but it looked all right at the end. So we're going to be making today um, an umbrella. Hopefully. So I've got all the details for you as well to be able to make your own umbrella. Uh, let's get all my stuff out. Right then, what we did, let me get what I need to show you. So if you can see this piece of paper that I've drew, you've got small pieces, medium pieces and large pieces. Now how many I use, I don't know yet, so I've just cut a numerous amount. I haven't counted, so we'll see at the end when the umbrella is finished. So you have um, a small, which is six centimetres. The diameter is five centimetres. And then the medium one is seven centimetres there until the curve. So it's seven centimetres to there and then five and a half centimetres that way. And then the larger size is the eight centimetres that way and the six centimetres just before the curve okay so what you do is you draw your template out don't have to be super neat on the curve just make a curve and then cut out what we're going to use today like i said i don't know how many yet we're going to be needing i might need to make more yet but we'll see so Let's get the other little bit of card out because I'm going to stick out. I've done it how I did it last time was I made little triangles like this and then rolled them up and then pre glued them and then stuck them down. But this time, what I'm going to be doing is sticking them down one by one and then fanning them out. So if you can see this one I did before, it's like a cylinder and it's all pre, -pre glued. This is the first one, and I figured out a different way of doing the, the next ones, okay? So, first of all, we're going to be doing the first part of the umbrella. So, let's put the first piece down. So, again, hot glue, and then pop where you want the umbrella to go, okay? So, that's the middle. Always start with the middle of the umbrella. So, then you're still going to be working on your larger pieces let me sort them out now so those are my large ones large large um i've left a couple just so i can go through a cup making a couple with you so we'll do that in a in a minute so on the next large one that large one needs to go there that's a large one yeah so on the next large one we're going to glue down the next one like i say it might not work yet but i hope it does but i like to film things even though they don't if they don't work they don't work do they no uh biggie so i'm going to decorate them with the spots afterwards so let's glue that one down that one went down better than i thought so i'm going to show you on these flat ones how we're going to do it in a minute so get the next large piece oh, and then get your folded bits which i'll show you and then i'm going to be doing The next piece so there we go oh 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 with the glue ouch so 
there we go and then hold that into the middle we'll do the point at the end like I did on my first umbrella card so now I've got to decide whether I want to come to the medium and then the small no I want two more large first so again Hold it down till it sets. We'll work on this part in a minute. Next large on the other side. to the two mediums now or oh, is that a large yeah I've got to make a medium one up so that's all cool I'll do that in a minute so bend it round again small this one which will go there just throw some glue down but not on the pointy bit going to bring the point a bit in better in a minute well then let's make these little ones up now so again like I say um, two medium how many do I need now I need put them uh, in a minute so I think I'm on medium and a small so I'm medium and a small medium and small yet yeah, so I need to make this one up so what I've been doing is you need to if you whatever pattern you're doing you need to do at the top because you're going to if you want the frill doing start about three mil in and then make yourself you don't have to do the frill, you could add your lace, you could do what you like with it. I just thought of this at the end, at the last minute, so yeah, that'll do. Okay, and then what you do then with the ends, these two ends, is you want to fold them in. So this is where the glue sits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you fold it up like that and that's where you pop the glue down those folded bits there and then you pop it on and that's what it is so again work in three millimeters there do your frill Okay. 
again fold all the way down to the point and then again all the way down to the point and then you bend it you glue it onto there and then you pop it down okay so easy peasy lemon squeezy right then i need that's my small one so i want my nice medium one now so let's pop the glue on the one we've just made a little bit more so Are you grunting again Bubba and then hold down I'm gonna lift these ends up in a minute so fold in remember only glue down don't glue the pointy bits down so just to there and then we'll pop that one on on the end there hold it down till it's done right now let's have a look okay now these, I did a bit of a boo-boo on them because I did glue some of them down. But we'll see what we can lift. Not one of lifting up anyway. Whatever doesn't glue down, you can lift, try and lift it up. And then move into the point at the, in the, in the centre as the brolly then comes down into the point okay you're gonna to have to maneuver it best you can and then glue down what has come unstuck you've got to have fingers like leather for this Pull any glue that comes up and out of the paper. So some of them, what you need to do is try and lift up slightly. And then as you're gluing it in, really push into that corner look. See some of them will dislodge and you'll have to pop a little bit more on in a minute. See so this one, again, pop some glue on there and then push it right into that corner. Okay, any creasy bits will pop out in a minute. And then, okay, let's have a look at this one there. I'll we'll need to glue that one in. Don't get me wrong, this card is fiddly, but it's worth a fiddle. Even if you get it wrong a couple of times, it's worth having a go. I'm a, I'm a firm believer in uh, keep having a go until you do it. Okay. Right, what has come loose now? This pesky one. Whatever then comes loose. Give it a bit of a, a scrape with the glue and the glue will come off. You can always use your pokey tool inside as well to hold it down. And what you want to do is you want to flatten it a little bit. I'm going to fan those fanny bits 
out in a moment. I'm just going to see if they're all glued. Yeah, they're all secure now. I'm just going to tidy up to see if I can get some more glue off here, which I can. I've chose this sort of background because it's a little bit more forgiving than um, a plain sort of background. You can always put some glue on your glass surface or somewhere and pop it on with your pokey tool. So squirt some glue on some spare piece of paper and then pick it up and then pop it in and it's like sometimes the glue gun end is too thick to get in your nooks and crannies and then we're going to be doing polka dots on this one so again i need a little bit of glue so we're going to i've picked it up and then we're going to go into that bit there and then squeeze and then tuck that bit under and then flatten that bit. Is that on? Yeah, they're all on. Okay, so let's see if that's done. That's done. We might do a little bit more work on there in a minute. But I've made, I've showed you how to make the template for your, I would have liked that one a little bit larger to be honest. I wonder if I can get that one off. See what you can do it's amazing i'm gonna do another one and i'm just gonna bring it up it was falling a little bit lower than i would like i'll show you in a minute as i go in just let me fiddle around with this one so again pop your glue down to there and then slot it in but I want that a little bit higher. Yeah, I want that to be the widest, biggest part of the brolly. And all, as you well, you can also trim your little fur, um, feathery bits as well. If if the if your umbrella is a little bit wonky in places, so that is all doable as well. So let's see if I can move this brolly up anymore. Yes, I can. So you have to keep playing with this bottom bit. I won't lie, it's it's a bit of a pain. You just have to keep... That's why I told you not to glue right the way down. Again, another little bit of glue in a pinch. Again, a little bit of glue and a pinch. I'm not going in with the glue gun straight away because it's the nozzle's too big and then it's popped up again so no bother we'll pop turn it around pop a little bit of glue on and then we'll pop that down but this time we'll put that in just to anchor it down a little bit more and then we'll flatten the curve a little bit like that Okay, so I hope you're still with me and you ain't given up thinking I ain't making that. Right then, it'll all come together when everything starts to come together. So what we'll do now is we're going to level the umbrella off. You can see how some pieces are higher than others. So what you want, you want to lock a curve, like an umbrella, yeah? So again, make your snippies now leave that centre one because I like the curve on that one I need to buy myself some good scissors I do I hope you can see what I'm doing I'm trying to angle it so I can see also, so you can see as well what I'm doing. Okay, let's have a look. Right then, I 
think we've got that meter. Let's get rid of the bits now. I think you can see now what I meant about having the more of a better corner. Try and get the underneath pieces as well. Because you don't want them poking their ugly heads out because they're longer. God, these is a terrible. Let me try these ones. If anybody can recommend me some good like, little scissors to cut out fine things. I need help with them. So let's do that again. And now I think we is in a proper Hopefully that looks neater now. Right, let me show you how to make the handle. Right then, this is um, just a rolled up piece of paper. So easy peasy. I've just glued it down the centre and coloured. I've only coloured the bottom because I'm going to be chopping some of it off. Uh, I've left it long because you, what you want to do is don't cut your umbrella stick too short because what you want to be doing is you want to be putting it in there and you want to be measuring to see where you want the handle to go okay so if you cut it too short you don't want your handle down here so always leave it extra long and then you can snip off what you need need but what i've done then is i've rolled the paper up glued it then i stuck on some beads uh, and then on the end i did it with wire so the wires and under the beads do you get me so if i can show you again this one this one and this one is all stuck on on the paper and then i got a little bit of wire and then i went round with these and then i stuck the little bit of wire there into that this one here okay and then you can then do your little curve of your brolly handle okay so let me see now so obviously needs to go in. What you don't want it to do is lie too flat on the paper. You want it to come up a little bit. So I think I've got it about right really. I don't think I need, I think I need to chop off a little bit. So I'd say about three quarters of an inch. Let's have another look. So... Yeah, I think so. Bring it out a little bit like that. Okay. So all you do is you glue your brolly cane, whatever, brolly handle. You call it what you want. Okay. And then hold it until it takes. You can even put your little poker tool down make sure that you're pressing on it you don't want to be pressing too hard on here because you'll collapse the paper and then that's wire so that'll turn okay so that's your umbrella handle right then i did get a little bit of trim that i was gonna put on each individual one but then I forgot, didn't I? So it's all about remembering what you're doing in what order to. But then sometimes I don't want to do it and it goes on one case. So we'll decide whether we do that after. Um, right then, what's next? I've got some flowers here. Last time I put flowers coming out of the umbrella. Um, but I don't know whether... I'm going to do that or whether I'm just going to, yeah, actually, I was going to put them up here. And then also I've done some little cutouts of, um, you know, those little punch flowers that you can do. I've done some of them as well and I was going to do those after. But let's decorate. Let me see if I've got the right pen first. Is that the right one? I should have left it out, shouldn't I? I'll add it out. Bear with. 
don't think I have. Oh yeah, I might have done. Yeah, I think I've got my wrong marker pen. So let's have a look on that one. Yeah, this is it. So let's now finish the details on the umbrella. I wanted a spotty umbrella. So spot out where you want your spotties to go. Any pattern would look nice on this if you, if you think about it, you know, do a one colour one. So you could use pink paper or uh, blue paper, any colour would look nice. And just do it plain. You can move them out of the way a little bit to just do the sides. So don't leave those bare. Yeah, like I did last time, I did the, um, I folded each paper, like a little bit individual um, umbrella section in one. And I found it like really difficult. I don't know why. Just found it even more fiddlier than this one. I thought this one would be a little less fiddly. It was, don't get me wrong, even though you're probably looking thinking now, actually, do that look goddamn fiddler. <laughs> it is fiddler. You have to keep messing with it till you've got your right shape. Just forward this bit, people, if it's if it bores you. And like I said, I'd sing you a song, but I'm no good. just wanted to show you how different a pattern makes it like it hides a little few more it draws the eye away from your scruffier bits do you know what I mean because you can tidy all those up after and also hide things with a bit of lace or a bead or a little diamante it's good with a mark as well because you just lie it on and it literally soaks up and makes the circle itself. I have got another colour to add, so like I say, if you find it boring, give it a quick, just want a little bit of grey in it. just wanted to have another go at doing this umbrella card because like I said I found it a little bit challenging on the other one I did the other one's blue 
it's in my Instagram if anybody wanted to go and have a look. That one I first did has got like a straight handle. This grey is nice because it literally just looks like little holes in the paper when it dries because it's really pale. Just slipped a bit there, but it'll be okay. Right then. That's the boring bit done. On this bit with my rubbish scissors, I'm going to try because we're going to put a little Q-tip bit there. I'm going to show you in a minute. This video will probably be about 10 inches long, uh, 10 hours long, 10 inches long. You tell I'm concentrating, can't you? So snip off your bits that you no, know, you don't like anymore. So like that. So we've chopped that little untidy little bit off, and then we're going to get um, we call them um, um, cotton buds. So take the end off, and then take when you can that end off so you're left with a little stubby bit about a centimetre big and then sharpen it if you can with your scissors to a point so just snip off those ends So you've got like a little point and then what this then does it fits on the end of the brole and makes it look a little bit neater so let's cut off a little bit more and let's get it on okay now you need to hold this until when I can grab it till it sets okay so we'll let that set a little bit more can you see how now is it did look really untidy here but you can neaten it up and also the with the brolly as well um pattern that all changes it up as well so with the frills then you just i wanted them to be a little bit untied a little bit like you know how they stick out on the brolly so a little bit like a parasol so again you might see some underneath bits Again, chop them off. We don't want them showing. Okay. Try and keep it neat. Because people will look at the whole card when they receive it. They're not just going to look at it from like the front. They're going to take it in the hands, aren't they? And they are going to be having a look like we're doing now. So you do want it neat. Okay, so that's the brolly done. That took ages, but this is what it is. I made these about six months ago. You know, when you've got those little beads, look like you put them on cakes. I might use them. I found them in the drawer the, uh, the other day. So then I've got some leaves. Bubba wants to get on the bed, so I'm going to have to get him up on the bed, otherwise he's going to start having a tantrum. So just bear with Cora. There we go. He'll be a good boy now. So I've got some leaves there for the flowers. And then I also did a couple of these. These are pretty. Let me show you. We'll go for another video with this, with the colouring of these. But I just wanted these to go into the brolly too. So it's like it's holding it up in the air. So let's get a bit of glue 
I'd go down each side and underneath because you want it to just grab where it grabs and then holds okay so let me chop off that one and then we don't want it to don't want it too uniform so we'll have it we'll have that one a little bit lower I think so a little bit don't know whether to have it in the same hole or the other one let's have a, have a look at um, I need to cut this corner leaf because it's not behaving like I want it to so yeah I want that one there so again bring it out pop your glue on and then where's my pokey tool gone that this is what my life has come to people I lose things all the time so that would have been mean more glue because in that little bit of time it will start to set I've got you on the bed, Bobby. You be a good boy. Okay, so I'll have that one there. And then let me see now. Can you hear Bubba? He's starting to be a nose. So I don't know whether I want to use those big ones. Or whether I just want to make it a little bit more simple this time. Can you hear him chomping now? He's found something to eat, a little sod. He knows. Mummy can't get me at the minute. She's doing those silly cards, that's what he's saying. So, Bubba can do what the hell I like. That's what he's thinking. I don't care what she says to me. And then also you want some on the brolet itself. Do you want to look like they're hanging on for grim death? So a little bit on there as well. So just pop them where you think. No rhyme or reason to it. Shove where you think you want them. And then, so I don't know whether to make those a little bit, sh a little bit littler. What I might do, I know you're going to scream at me. I'm going to make this flower slightly smaller. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the underneath layer off. See? If this um, video cuts out, I'm still going to put it on. I've done too much work for me to be able to just get through half uh, this card and not put it up. So if it does cut out, you'll shout at me. But it's my memory on my card. It's crap on my phone. going to have a look see how long I've been filming I don't normally do that yeah it's going to cut off in a minute right then I'm going to upload this video and then I'm going to do a part two so I shall see you in part two people bye